Well hello, good morning and welcome to Camilla and I. I'm Mark Cooper, a wildlife photographer here in the UK and today we're out in the Camilla wagon, <laughs> well the, the VW Transporter and we've camped overnight in this lay-by very close to Sixpenny Handley here in the UK and uh, last night <clears throat> we were very lucky we got a roe deer uh, very close to the uh, camper van and also there were a couple of kestrels hunting down the road here near White Down. Anyway yeah beautiful action last night and then this morning we got a reasonable night's kip in the wagon was a little bit warm Whew, the lengths we go to bringing a Camilla and I yeah it was a little bit warm but we did get some sleep last night and we were up at six this morning and already we've got a sparrowhawk just about so it was very early in the morning I had the uh, A93 with the 300 millimeter at uh, f2.8 and only one thousandth of a second shutter speed um, because I was expecting more perch birds than a sparrowhawk that surprised me anyway shot of that one um, it actually caught a bird it had something in its uh, in its talons so you can just about make that out from this photo so lovely action already on Camilla and I and then we walked a bit further down the road and we also got a roe deer a couple of roe deer in a uh, field of wheat possibly possibly a wheat field and uh, yeah beautiful and now I can still hear a couple of squawks and I think it's from the chick of the sparrowhawk I'm not sure I'm not off on my sparrowhawk things anyway that's what we're going to do we're going to go and have a look and see if we can see where this sparrowhawk is feeding its chick if it is if you like come with me and we're going to have a look and see if we can at least see where this sparrowhawk is um, being fed. Yeah, so the lights improve slightly now on Camilla and I. It is forecast to be quite a nice day today, but first of all, it was very misty. So I've now changed, I've put on the 1.4 teleconverter, giving me 420 millimeters of reach at f4. Um, this is just a little bit more useful to get in closer to the subject, and it's still nice and lightweight so uh, yeah that's what we're packing on the Camilla wagon today so uh, yeah here we are parked up in this lay-by and uh, yeah so it was a bit misty moisty first thing yeah we've got a couple of options so the squawks are coming from down here but I can't hear anything at the moment might be able to see it. Or is that a pigeon? God, is it a pigeon or can I see it? Anyone anyway, gonna put it down a minute? See if I've got something here. Amazing. No, false alarm. Yeah, it was just a yeah, a leaf hit lit by a little bit of sunlight coming through the trees. Just looked like the outline of a bird. Huh? Never mind. Anyway. Onward. Well, if you come with me, we'll have a little look down this road and uh, we'll see if there's anything else on offer because this squawking has stopped from that area and uh, once we hear a squawk, we'll go back and uh, see if we can locate this possible juvenile sparrowhawk because that would be well worth seeing but also, the juvenile sparrowhawk is also probably going to learn how to hunt soon but the parent is definitely hunting in this area and I think there's some very good trees which have got passerine birds in which I think is probably where it plucked the one this morning so uh, we'll concentrate on this sort of sweep around this area to see if we can get the sparrowhawk obviously the moment they see you bang they're gone so um, it's a very hit and miss subject it's um beautiful 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 bird of prey absolutely gorgeous 
if you can catch them. I have been lucky, I've got quite close to them in a hide and um, yeah, I have had a few shots in flight so I've uh, been quite lucky with a sparrowhawk. So uh, yeah, link to a couple of those. But um, will we get a shot today? I can't promise you one because uh, they are very elusive sparrowhawks. But we have got these couple of kestrels as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, you might be lucky with a kestrel if nothing else. As the sun comes up, we also hope to get other birds of prey in this area. I have seen a hen harrier here before and also red kites do frequent the area and uh, of course you always get the odd buzzard as well so uh, you know, there's normally a buzzard around here as well so it's quite a productive area we don't usually come home without a photo from this area whether it's a, uh, a very good photo we don't know but um, it's very rarely we don't get something a little bit different so well, anyway we'll see what we can get for you today on Camilla and I so uh, I'll catch you later yeah well there we are literally two minutes after I mentioned the word buzzard um, one appears and uh, over the treetops and then uh, one is currently hunting over this area in the uh, over this area now um, it's a long way off now but um, yeah I've got a little bit of video of it and uh, yeah, beautiful. Lovely. Hunting action. Okay, well, we'll see what else we can get for you. Okay, just checking in. Just checking in with you. The, um, I've parked myself up just off the roadway. With this nice little thicket in front. And then the, uh, way back to the trees so uh, yeah incredible anyway just spotted a road deer 12 o'clock on the screen yeah it's quite a lovely background growing in that sort of half field of wheat but uh, anyway that's where I was earlier the other side of that um, yeah, would it have come that close if I'd stayed there? I very much doubt it. Anyway, tempting to work back round that way now with that road there. Lovely subject in that background. Anyway, yeah, we just sort of parked up here in the hope that the sparrowhawk hunts over here and then flies back across, as it did first thing this morning, to its nest site, or to its uh, juvenile, in the trees beyond. Okay. But I'm just tempted by that roe deer. What would you do? Go and scare a roe deer, or stay here? Oh, tricky. What would you do? Go for the roe deer, which will probably scarper as soon as it sees you. Or wait here for the sparrowhawk to appear. Hmm. Okay. I think we're going to chase that roe deer. Well, we won't chase it. We've got a very stealthy path up to it. So, uh, anyway, catch you in a minute. Fingers crossed behind the road there. It'll take me at least five minutes to work around there. Okay, cheers for now. Wow, <laughs> well, the approach road, the actual path, was actually quite twiggy and uh, there's quite a lot of leaves on it as well. So there's quite a bit of rustling going along, even though I was being as stealthy as possible. I think they've gone to ground. Or bolted one of the two anyway darn it. but there was another reason to come over here as well and that's where we heard the squawking 
of the uh, potential juvenile sparrowhawk but um, nothing just little tweeters in the background now so uh, anyway I think we'll go back for a coffee now and a little bit of breakfast Ooh. wow cheers yeah just having a uh, spot of breakfast and um, a coffee very nice too and I'm just thinking what we're going to do from here and I'm not sure we're going to get much now the sun's come up and uh, this time of year well about nine o'clock it's already past the best anyway cheers I'll catch you in a minute well sometimes it's just lovely being out in nature I must admit and uh, yeah walking a track we haven't walked before so uh, yeah here we are after breakfast just having a little walk down here 10 o'clock now so uh, the sun's got up pretty bright obviously here under the uh, canopy of trees it's nice and cool that's one thing because it's about 22 now I think so uh, the temperature's got up quite high here in the UK set for the next couple of days Ooh, global warming yeah we love it anyway um, yeah going well but um, yeah we're just proceeding along this track and uh, well again I did hear a strange noise over here on the right hand side earlier when I had a little look down now and um, anyway I couldn't uh, I couldn't get in on what the subject was but again I think it was another another bird another raptor calling but I couldn't make out the call I'm not good on uh, on birds uh, bird song anyway yeah probably another raptor but, um, yeah which one we haven't got clear. no idea where this copse goes to um, I can hear a uh, tractor probably harvesting in the background probably a combine harvester actually but um, no this is um, this is a track I've uh, never been on before so uh, yeah you know as much as me a nice track I mean uh, it's quite wide nice new fence down the uh, left hand side and uh, yeah it's certainly well well chaperoned down this path we won't be able to vault into the copse unless we risk life and limb with the barbed wire yeah we're not doing that yeah well every now and then I just stop at what looks like a promising little bit and uh, yeah a bit more light on this area so uh, yeah just have a uh, little stop here just have a little five minutes here just have a little five minutes here and see if anything comes along just standing in one spot makes all the difference well, I think we had a close encounter there I think it was a sparrowhawk just the other side of the fence the barbed wire fence something flew up to the tree above me so I snuck down there but uh, could still be there behind me um, anyway very difficult to uh, get a shot especially with a barbed wire fence in the way but uh, anyway possible near miss nice well this spot is absolutely ideal sparrow hawk hunting ground we've got uh, trees on this side quick flip you around trees large trees on the left hand side and then on the right hand side we have a small tree and hedge growth straight ahead and uh, potentially you'll get the sparrow hawk will perch up in a large tree on the left hand side and then swoop into action over the other trees so this is a beautiful location to capture the sparrow hawk in action but weather we're too late now possibly um, it could park up for the rest of the day not hunt until again till the evening but we'll note this location and we'll come back another occasion if we don't get anything today we'll park up here for five minutes or so well a bit longer half an hour or so well an absolute beautiful subject the sparrow hawk and to get one in the natural environment is um, well well worth it I suppose 
but you do have to stake an area out for quite a while and uh, first thing in the morning last thing at night probably the best light to capture the subject beautiful anyway yeah we haven't got a really good shot I think the best of the day was first thing in the morning our first glimpse of the sparrowhawk so uh, anyway I think we captured a couple of frames one thousandth of a second ISO yeah about 5,000 I think so uh, anyway beautiful good to see it we know where they are we'll be back to this area and that's the idea just keep going back to an area where you know they are and then one day you will hit lucky I and mean, you can go to paid hides like in Scotland I believe there's a sparrowhawk stroke kestrel hide in uh, Scotland so uh, yeah look that one up and uh, but if you're not that far north um, sparrowhawks are everywhere but they are of course a secretive bird and they do just go for quick short hunting trips and then they perch up and uh, stay here. So hopefully I've given you some ideas of how to capture a sparrowhawk in a natural environment. Anyway, have a good one. Bye from Camilla and I. Thank you.